Oh, I just bumped a real nice buck. I walked into this spot. Jake dropped me off at this parking lot here, and I've been walking in. And I've been following a bunch of boot tracks all the way in here. Looked like boot tracks, and then like a jet sled or something. Like they're dragging deer out of here. And it looks like it was fresh as this morning, maybe. I didn't really have high hopes, but as I was walking back in here, there's a bunch of deer tracks in the snow, standing bean fields, Milo, cut corn, all kinds of food in this area, and I figured they'd probably be bedded down in this bottom somewhere. I was sitting on those beans. I was planning to just sit the beans tonight because there's tons of tracks coming in there, but then somebody came walking in behind me, and I turned around and saw them, and they, were, they kept going past me into some of this bedding so I decided to get up and get down towards this bottom where I could see if he bumped something down through here and as I was walking down through I jumped two does and then I was gonna stand right by this tree and I got to right here and I jumped in a real nice buck out of this willow patch so that's what's happened to me so far probably gonna find a spot to sit over this bottom somewhere for the night and see if anything else pops out All right, well, I just snuck down in here. Got a standing bean field up top, and it looks like there's been somebody in there hunting. I came and checked this yesterday, and there was somebody there. And Morb said there are some tracks going up towards that bean field, human tracks. But there's also a ton of deer tracks, and they've been watching deer go up to this bean field. And as soon as I got down in here, they were up feeding on these locust pods. And I think that's what they're going to do. They're just going to stage up down in here with all the pressure that's been going on up by this field. And then after dark, they'll go up there and start feeding. But they bed right on these ridges around here, and then they come down right on the edge and feed on these locust pods. we watched a couple bucks cross about 200 yards down from me the other day. So I was hoping the deer would kind of filter through the bottom down there. But all those deer kind of got downwind of me, so I might have to rethink my setup here. But it's still pretty early, and there was couple bucks in there and a bunch of does so I don't have a doe tag for this county but we saw a couple nice bucks in here during one of the earlier gun seasons this year too so hopefully one of them still alive and they're going up towards these beans there's a nice buck in that group there just my first night hunting so 
gonna try to be a little patient. I'm set up off the end of this point now. That buck I bumped was right back here. He went across the cove and the does that I bumped were a little further this way and they went that way. There's a bunch of bottom ground with a bunch of good bedding cover down here, which is where I bumped the deer. There's a chance other deer are bedded in there yet. Come out of there. There's a willow line down in the bottom. More bedding cover back this way. And then a bunch of open ridges out in front of me. And the crops are all back this way. So I'm right at the point of this ridge where kind of all those thick pockets where deer could be bedded all kind of come together right here. Not sure that anything else is gonna pop out of this bedding, but there's always a chance. A lot of food around here, so. Probably a lot of deer. Here, get me something to set up where I can shoot him. Can't really see it, but that's where the bucks cross at Warp saw the other day. Kind of last minute, but I got stuck here with all the deer up on their feet and they're, they're pegging me, so might as well go see what's going on down here.
almost made that work. Saw that buck. I think there's two nice ones at least. One real nice one. And that was the one I was trying to sneak down here to get close enough to. I was probably 400 yards down that way and I figured he was just going to cut straight across whenever he went to go to that bean field. And I popped up one last time here. There's a bunch of does coming out down the cove from him. And they eventually got real close to me and they got downwind and they spooked and so I popped up here but when they ran back up into the bedding him and two or three other bucks did the same thing and he stood there on that hillside at about 200 yards for five minutes or so just standing around trying to see what was going on but he's behind some stuff never really had a clear shot so I think that's probably about it for tonight I'm glad I moved up here though because I would have never seen those bigger bucks this is where I wanted to get to I probably should have just spooked those deer to begin with but it's so calm and everything's so loud I didn't want them to take off and be blown a bunch and go up through the bedding area they ended up doing that anyway but all of these deer further down here when I moved up were doing the same thing feeding real slow on those locust pods just waiting for the sun to go down it seemed like before they went up to the field there be back in here in the next couple days What's that now? Huh? What's that? I said, don't let that discourage you, buddy. This would be a great spot still. Deer cart tags? <laughs> that discourages me. At least for going right here. I think we can still hunt close to here. I just don't know if I want to go in the same way. Yeah. Nobody had been in from that access over there the other day when we checked it. We just went and hunted our way along that, and we could just hunt into the wind the whole time there, too. I think there's going to be deer going towards that other beaten field that we found in. And if we get far enough in, we might just get deer that are going this one too. Yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> I was going to have Ted park at an access to get it kind of locked down for us, but when he pulled in at what, 1 o'clock? Yeah. There was already somebody there, and he said he appreciated it if we didn't hunt where we were going to hunt. So he was there first, but that's the spot. I'd been hunting, I think I hunted it two days and saw nice bucks both times. Hunted across last night because I was worried that the deer weren't going to come back out because they spooked so many of the first two times. And then I just watched a bunch of deer go across the cove again, so we were going to go into that cove. But got to scratch that now. We're looking for a different spot, and every spot we go to, it seems like there's been people in there pretty heavily. So there's a spot right down the road here, kind of close to where Ted's been hunting, that didn't look like it had many human tracks in it the other day, and there's some standing crops around it, so we're going to go check it out. Deer carcass right there. Deer carcass. That's no good. We're getting beat out to all these spots. I'm going to see if he pulls out of here or not. I doubt he's going to, but he was cruising around yesterday. Or the day before, too, he's got a deer hauler on the back of his minivan there. Savage. Mm -hmm, buck. Nice one. He's going in the public. Perfect. He's going right there. I think it's just going to be way too loud. We'll go up here to where Zip did that time. Yep. All right, so big change of plan. Had to do a completely different type of area than we've been hunting. We're just pulling in. There's a nice buck out on some private, working this way back towards public. So we're going to go still on our way towards that. The wind's still up right now. I think it's going to die down right before dark. but. I imagine we'll get to somewhere where we feel like it's worth setting up at some point based off all the deer tracks coming out of here, don't you think? Probably. I haven't, I haven't seen any people tracks or tire tracks. No tire Just tracks. Nothing but deer Just tracks. Deer tracks literally coming right through the parking lot here. So. <laughs> Jake says he's shooting a doe tonight, so. I got a doe tag for this county even. So you can shoot two does if you want. Hey, buddy. I'll believe that when I see it. Like I said. Shoot at. Hey, though, I'd imagine at least. Drink up so you can have the energy to drag my deer out. I think I slide across the snow real nice. When Zip was in here last year, did that deer come off that ridge? Do you remember it? Did. Yeah. Came from the right. He was down in the cove. What do you think we should do? Should we just go right towards where that buck was? Probably. We could probably swing down there, though.
Not yet. But I but I am on her. I got her. She just went down. That's my work. Almost did there. Almost did there. Just sitting right here. Might be more deer back behind where they're at. Should we scoot up a little bit or not so we can shoot that better? Just nice stand. Three or four. At least three, yeah. Nice stuck in there, nice little spot here, it seems like. Just creeping along these ridges, popping over. There is a bunch of does on this ridge. They had kind of hurt us, I'd imagine, and maybe even saw us a little bit, but we just froze for a while. And they eventually just kind of worked down this ridge. There's a bunch of deer sign up on the ridge on top of us here. Three more of them just came through up there. There's a bunch of trails kind of just. I guess they're crossing all through here. We're kind of bringing a little saddle here. There's a bunch of locusts up there, and it just gets a lot more diverse. So there's a lot more stuff for the feet on. It seems like we're right on the edge of it. Where if they step out, we got a little more open shot. I right? can shoot out to about 80 yards in a couple spots in here. I think we're getting a shot at something. Yep. As long as they keep coming, seems like there's a lot of deer in here, and we know that we know that there's big bucks around. Ted's dad saw a real big one down in here late last year, was it, or two years ago? Last year? Last year, this time of year, it was under in the late muscleware season. He was bow hunting, but he said it was a dandy. I was just right down in this cove below. I hope we get Zip's buck. challenging thing for my brain to figure out is how to load a muzzleloader up. <laughs> Just because it's like, you don't, you don't want to mess it up. That was kind of nice too. It wasn't like there's a big group of them that took off behind her or anything, so we might get a chance at another one here. I think. That's what I was worried about, is a big group of deer. And then you shoot a doe, expect to know, and you're hoping a buck to come by. Do you believe me now? I don't know yet. But we'll see. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, he's living. You lived up to your word. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a big monarch's gonna walk by. It's a little bit cold for butterflies, ain't it? I can hear deer walking. Just can't tell where. Oh yeah. 
Well, let's just get her out of here then. I'll just drag her. I think so. Tag, tag her and drag her. Should be easy on the snow. Should have shot one of those bucks. <laughs> Assuming she opened up right away. And, uh, granted, we got snow, but she's spraying out pretty good. I'll drag her out there for you. Little low. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you shoot him in the heart like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'd like that to be a little higher. <laughs> Gosh, I love that sound. <laughs> Total DIY OTC. <laughs> OTC backcountry. Yeah. Rugged as it gets. <laughs> Pile of mountain deer. Tracking. Tracked her down in the snow, that is true. We did see her track back there, I think. Yeah. Kind of followed it right to her. Don't have to say too much, we just came in here, found the sign, a nice old timber hunt. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> 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 Got him, boy. Got him. 